Hey guys, Rob here from Dranglers again, a continuation of our swing flies we've been doing here. Uh, we did the intruder the other day. Today we are going to do a spider pattern, um, kind of uh, little variation on the Platte River spider. All right, here we go. All right, uh, we're going to start with... Uh, you know, $200 style, uh, 1270 Daiichi, you know, 3X long curved hook, uh, and like, this is a number four. You can also use the traditional, you know, up eye salmon steelhead hook if you like, um, but for trout fishing, these work just fine. Uh, we're going to start on the very, you know, front part of the third of the hook. Uh, we don't need to go back very far on this pattern. Um, you know, the traditional calls for red pheasant fibers. I've been using this uh, just some red ripple ice fiber. Seems to you know, a little bit of flash but not too flashy. I like ripple ice fiber a lot so it has a cool look in the water. So we'll tie just a little bit of that on there. You know, just a little longer than the hook shank. That's perfect. Next, we're going to tie in our marabou. And we're going to tip tie it in just like we did for on our intruder pattern. And because we are going to palmer it. Same thing, you want to make sure you pick out a good piece of marabou. Has some nice long, fairly slender fibers. And we're going to do two colors. We're going to do a you know, traditional color here of the Platte River Spider, which is brown and yellow. Kind of looks like a baby brown trout. So a couple wraps there. Cut the tip out. Then we're going to take our yellow. Cut the tip out. So now we have I'm gonna advance our thread just a little bit here. Leave a couple eye lengths back from the eye of the hook. Kind of try to get these fibers to all line up. Make sure they're all, you know, it's kind of pointed towards the back of the hook. We're going to try to, you can really fold it if you want to, or just kind of lightly do it as we're going. We're going to fold, make sure all the turns happen. Pull it back as we go, one in the front. The key with these spiders is not too much material, so we're going to do three turns on this one will be plenty. And then lock it down and then cut out what's left. Take our bodkin, trapped quite a few fibers on this one, but so we'll use our bodkin to kind of pick those out of there. Got Maya barking in the background. And just clean up where we trimmed off here. Okay, good. Now we're just going to take a piece of crystal flash, tie it in kind of 
the top just to one side here. Top kind of just on the other side. Next step is we are going to wrap some mallard flank, or I'm going to use wood duck flank. And I lost my piece of wood down here. Here it is. So we're going to lay it on there, and we want to strip the opposite side. So it's going to tie in like this, and then wrap like this. So we want to strip this side just like you would do a soft tackle in the base and get some of that more webby stuff out of there and then we'll tie it in at the tip But if you don't keep it from spinning, what will happen is the fibers won't lay in there nice and flat. They'll kind of want to like curve out. And sometimes you try and it still does. Doesn't quite sit the way you want it to, but we'll see how she goes. And then we're going to use our bodkin to kind of, those are webby fibers and they're kind of stuck together, so pick them apart to make sure that they, all the way around the hook shank. It was actually a, you know, old pattern that was just, the original spider was just mallard flank wrapped around the shank of the hook. So not as big of a fly for sure. But a cool old, old school wet fly. It's just the old mallard spider. And to finish off we are just going to tie in the couple of hackle tips on the top the traditional pattern Platte River spiders tied with furnace dyed yellow we're gonna do furnace dyed red because I like that a little bit extra pop in there and then I strip And I did two feathers there and faced them into each other so they're kind of married a little bit there. Makes it so it doesn't curve to one side or as much. Right on the top in the middle. Pinch wrap. Make sure it kind of stays in place there, which it does. butts off and then whip finish you can definitely well, traditionally most people lacquer the heads on these um, especially like a, with a higher gloss this is just all thread but most people do like a high gloss over a black thread it looks really nice very traditional um, just a couple little whip finishes there Clip it off close, and there's your spider. All done.